Um, how do you feel? Good. Proud of that round. It was chaotic. I've never played a... Actually, first time I played with Rory ever was similar to that, but not... It was in America. Uh, so it was chaotic. Yeah. People moving once he hits. Uh, so I was really proud of how I, I played. I felt like I stayed within myself. Um, swung it awesome all day. The ball didn't want to go in, but I didn't force it. So it was good. Um, you know, with all, all the craziness going on, I thought I, I played a solid round of golf. Yeah, can you tell me more about, like, how that craziness feels? Is it the fact that everyone's yelling for Rory or that they're trying to get in position for the next shot or, like, what specifically is happening? Um, yeah, all of it. I kind of like the yelling because it makes me laugh. I had a guy yell at me, hurry up, no one's watching you anyways today, <laughs> which I quite like, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, it's the, the just the moving. But I knew it was going to happen. Fortunately, playing with Tiger last year, um, the funniest part is that St. Andrews, it's kind of gravel. Uh, so right when he'd hit a ball, you just hear all the footsteps leave. Um, today was a little bit different. You could see him. But at some point, I just, after the second, I think the second hole, I had a putt. And I just kind of told myself, that's just what you're going to deal with all day. So I mean, if everybody's moving, no one's moving type thought. But yeah, it's just a lot. The yelling's fine and I mean it's awesome the only hard part is not that this matters at all is if I hit a good shot and he hits an okay shot he gets a roar and I get a couple claps and then you get up there and you, you I guess just that 180 yard walk uh it leaves you uneasy because you think you have 40 feet and then you get up there and you have 10 so that was the only that was the only bummer of the day um mentally or even practically when you do have that environment like what do you have to do different or is there anything you kind of have to sort of change or maybe focus on more? I think you just got to believe in yourself more, um, in, a, in a way. Uh, I didn't, obviously don't think of, didn't think of myself as like the antagonist, but he was clearly the protagonist today. Uh, but that's, that's kind of fun, I guess. Uh, I was kind of thinking if I can make this Ryder Cup team have a, obviously a, a very similar feel to it. Um, so I thought this would be good practice for that, uh, if and when I can make that team. So uh, I guess I just looked at it as a test. And then how, how do you feel now compared to maybe how you felt on 14 or something? Uh, very good. I was try just telling myself all day, uh, all, all that whole back nine that I'm playing awesome. The ball's just, I just couldn't get a putt to, to lip in. Um, so yeah, to finish uh, birdie par, birdie par, uh, definitely feel like I got kind of some of what I deserved today. Um, felt like I played a lot better than one under, but it definitely didn't play like, feel like I played an over par round. So I, it's, my uh, putting coach PK says uh, strokes gain uh, psychological. <laughs> Those last two birdies uh, definitely were in the positives. The the putts not going in. Did it feel like that was kind of the case for Rory as well in some ways for his round? Yeah, um, I just the the speed of the greens is a little slower today, and I felt like uh, we would hit good putts and maybe just misread them and or or be off a foot on the pace. So we didn't really fill it up like I imagine a lot of these people are, but. Um, I mean, we, we give ourselves a lot of looks, and, you know, that's kind of what you can – it's not Sunday yet, you know, so yeah. that's kind of what you're looking for. Cool. Thank, Thank you, guys. You, Have a good night. Thanks.